Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with simpleroptions.com and in tonight's free video I'm recovering some ideas in these index products but looking at it from a couple different points of view. So usually if I'm going to trade something like the NASDAQ I'll do it through the ETF and just look at the Qs. Um, just a very straightforward way of defining your risk through options and it offers plenty of liquidity and good spreads. However when you analyze these charts it also makes sense to look at them through the futures markets because there's a lot of important trading that goes on during the extended session and you may see signals that do not otherwise show up in just the ETF. So if we flip back to the continuous contract for the NASDAQ futures, this is where I think you've got some of the most interesting signals to look at. Now I've got a couple different reasons to be cautious this market and we'll cover those uh, in the premium video. It's a couple different ways of looking at things, but if the NASDAQ is going to carry us higher and this signal is going to lead that movement, I don't want to fight it and I want to be open to the idea that if there's going to be some good bullish movement in here, I'd like to participate in it. So we've identified a signal through the futures that you may not see through the ETF, then break it down into its individual components. I think it's tough to look at Apple and think that this will continue to lead the way higher, but if you flip over to products like Facebook, this, I think, gave you an important trigger back to the long side today. You clear the post earnings high, and I think you work your way back up now into 195 or 200. Granted, that may take a little bit of time, and I think it'll be easier to trade through spreads, but I think that's the next move in Facebook. Then you come back and look at Cisco, which maybe isn't for me to much of a degree. Um, it's got earnings, so that may not be as in play right now, but it's worth pointing out a squeeze. Two others that I think are going to be important are Amgen and Gilead. So, mind you, I'm not looking at them right this second and telling you this is the low. I'm actually going to like Amgen, even if it pulls back down into 191, 193. You know, that's actually an area where I think you have a better edge in buying it. But if you wake up and you find a lot of momentum in the NASDAQ, uh, pay attention to these names that you might be able to click a catch a quick trade into, into new lifetime highs. These individual indexes um, and their products, I think, will offer good opportunities. So hopefully that's helpful, Find, gives you a couple of things to focus on as you head into the August expiration, and we'll touch base on these in the next free video.